eighty percent of people are dehydrated or drinking the wrong water, and I believe eighty percent of all diseases caused by dehydration. There's an excellent book from Dr. Batman Galish. I don't know if I said his name right, but it's your body's many cries for water. But basically, I don't recommend reverse osmosis or distilled water because the surface tension on the water is not conducive or hydrating to the cellular, the sacred geometry in the cells. So so you're not going to get the hydration. You're going to get pure water, but then that water is going to strip minerals from your body. And then people go, but I remineralize. Well, then that's where hair analysis comes in, that a lot of those minerals are not what you need. So I do Mountain Valley water. It gets delivered in five-gallon jugs. (laughs) And it's got a nice alkaline pH with a lot of the minerals that the body just loves. So start drinking water. And, you know, if you're going pee and it's yellow, you're you're dehydrated. And that means your body's gone in survival, you know, survival mode and so there there's cells that are being damaged prematurely aging all kinds of stuff causing pain everything so get on the right kind of water i mean yeah it's more expensive but it sure is a lot cheaper than going to starbucks or you know other places and buying all these other drinks you know and so get on some water that's huge then the next thing is we have the 21st century disease. We're indoors way too much, so we're not yeah. getting the photo bio- biomodulation from the sunshine, from anything else, since our circadian rhythm's off. We're not grounding. So simply just start getting up and watching the sun for 15 to 20 minutes in the early morning hours. You don't have to be there at sunrise, but I mean, right. that would be better. But don't start there. Just like if you're up and it's 7 a.m., Go outside and sit barefooted with your feet on the ground and be out there for 10, 15 minutes. If they did that in a month, they'd start sleeping better. Mm -hmm. They would like be shocked at how much better they are. And that's that's just a location change. That's that's free. free. That's free. (laughs) I mean, you're probably drinking some kind of water anyway. I mean, that's next to free. And then... uh, the other thing is, is if somebody said, Eileen, I'm only going to do one thing for myself, I would say do a coffee enema. And I give people the two-week challenge, and now it's like a stand-up. You just, you just brew some strong coffee. I use a percolator. Mm-hmm. I don't like the boil and the strain method. I, I drink one cup of coffee in the morning, only mm-hmm. one, and then I have my brewed coffee. So then I have the enema fix, which solves everything. I mean... It's non-toxic glass, 33-ounce jar that has this pump. So you fill it up with water, like, and I use spring water, you know, and then I put the strong brewed coffee in there, and then you pump fast to get it primed, and then you can stand up, and I do half of it, and then I take a long shower, um, and then go sit on the toilet, and then repeat, Mm -hmm. and... You know, quickly, it, the enemas have been around for 3,000 years, but the right. scientific portion of it happened when Hitler's army was cut off from supplies. They were operating on soldiers without painkillers or anesthesia, and the doctor always gave them plain water enema. A nurse got the idea to put coffee in there, and a strange thing happened. It became so famous that their pain went away from a coffee enema that the University of Vienna and other ones started putting coffee water up rats behinds to figure out what was going on (laughs) and it increased glutathione production 600 percent okay and for those listening that don't know what's glutathione because in the whole age of like trying to find the fountain of youth what does what's glutathione uh, oh it's an antioxidant but even the nanoparticles in the vaccine that everybody's taking Mm. glutathione is a protectant against and getting neutralizing those nanoparticles so if you're concerned about reactions from the vaccine Oh my gosh, do a coffee enema. Just use it at the other end of your body. It doesn't, other than this $89 kit that makes it easy to use, Mm -hmm. it's almost literally free. But it also fills your bloodstream with free radical scavengers, turns on enzyme systems. It changes the pH of your intestinal tract so the good bacteria, the gut bacteria flourish. 
And so, I mean, I've had clients come to get their hair analysis that have a laundry list of problems on medications for depression and allergies and all kinds of stuff. A month later, they come back. The husband was doing coffee enemas. 80% of his problems went away. 